Hello and welcome to ChangeTube. Today you will understand why you should internalize change management. I recommend you to take some notes to keep up. Let's go! The last videos have shown how change management can be a real economic and strategic lever in an organization. The most prominent tools have been presented and you know how to implement them. But the question remains, should we aim to internalize the skills or engage experts in the field? As you know, the increasing number of changes and projects forces companies to invest in change management techniques. Some have developed internal training programs for the managers, for others it has become a systematic management skill. Let's take a look at the reasons why a company decides to internalize change management skills. The first reason is usually strategic. Indeed, whether relating to questions of organizational changes linked to mergers or acquisitions, new information systems or impacts due to the market modifications, companies, mostly large corporations, internalize change management expertise. This can take the shape of a department dedicated to in-house change consultancy. The objectives are strategic but also operational. Methods and tools are verified at the end of each project to ensure their effectiveness as well as improvement if necessary. Other initiatives to integrate change management competences focus on the importance of the social factor in the success of strategic transformations. Components of organizational climate, social dynamics, management model or corporate culture will be highlighted as they represent a determining factor for the success of each project. Change management techniques aim to motivate and empower employees in general, but especially managers. This is the second reason for companies to internalize change management. In light of multiple change projects, managers may feel disempowered in the management of their teams, which of course can demotivate them. This is why, when a company invests in the integration of change management techniques, it can enable its managers to initiate new dynamics to adapt organizations and operating modes to the needs of their teams. Change management provides support on an interpersonal level for the various transformations occurring in the company. Investing in change management consulting agencies can be very costly. Limiting these costs is the third reason why it is interesting to internalize the skill. Even though strategically relevant, it is not recommended to cut off external experts entirely. They can give you new insights into your situation or introduce new methods and tools to create new dynamics within your company. For example, you can keep consulting firms with specific know-how, such as those offering a psychosociological approach to change management. To successfully assimilate change management, consider the following. Verify the coherence of the chosen method with the culture of your company. To do this, make sure you understand the project, prepare the actors for the change, and put in place the tools necessary to manage the change. Finally, be aware that internalizing change management is synonymous with the creation and deployment of a new management tool. Internalizing this know-how is a project in its own right and requires patience, perseverance and consideration for colleagues. Now, tell me, what is your opinion on the matter? Are you in favor of 
or against the internalization of change management skills. Share your thoughts in the comments. And thank you for watching. Let's change together. Bye-bye.